The Scottish clan Elliot is a fascinating clan with a rich history that spans several centuries. Although little is known about their origins, the clan's history is characterized by their involvement in various conflicts and their rise to prominence in Scottish society. According to family tradition, the Elliots originally came from Angus and settled in Teviotale during the time of Robert the Bruce. It is believed that they were encouraged to settle in the area by Bruce to ensure his hold on the strategically important frontier region after the conviction of William de Solis for treason against him. The formal history of the clan began with Robert Ellet of Red Uke in the late 1400s. He built a strong tower overlooking the ford on Hermitabe Water, one of about 100 strong towers belonging to the Ellets that were dotted around Lidsdale, which they shared with the Armstrongs. The clan fought at Flodden, where the 13th chief, Robert, was killed along with James IV and many Scottish nobles. The Elliots had a deadly feud with their neighbours, the Scots, in 1565 over the minor crime of cattle rustling. Four Elliots were executed by Scott of Buccleuch, and 300 Elliots rode to avenge their kinsmen. The losses on both sides were heavy, but the Scots eventually came to terms with the Elliots. In 1569, a royal force of nearly 4,000 men devastated the lands of the Elliots and their neighbours in reprisal for a skirmish around Hermitage Castle with James Hepburn, the great Earl of Bothwell and future husband of Mary, Queen of Scots. The union of the crowns in 1603 marked the beginning of the end for the border Rivius. Many borderers were executed, and around this period, many accepted the offer of a new life in Ulster during the plantation, when much of the province was colonized. Robert Elliot of Red Uke went into exile in Fife, leaving his broad lands in Lidsdale. It was around the 1650s that the eye was introduced into the name of Elliot. Despite these turbulent times, the Elliots continued to rise in Scottish society. Sir Gilbert Elliot of Stobbs became chief in 1673 and was created a baronet of Nova Scotia by Charles II in December 1666. The Elliot clan produced some persons of distinction, including Augustus, a distinguished soldier who was rewarded for his spirited defense of Gilbraltar in 1782 with a peerage. Another branch of the Chiefly family acquired the lands of Minto in 1703 and produced Sir Gilbert Elliot of Minto, a diplomat who served first in Corsica, then in Vienna, finally becoming Governor-General of Bengal. He returned from India in 1813 to be created Earl of Minto and Viscount Melgund. The Elliot clan has faced many challenges throughout their history, but they have always remained a proud and resilient people. Today, the clan is led by the daughter of Sir Arthur Elliot, 11th Baronet and 28th Chief. She assumed her father's seat on the Council of Chiefs, but the baronetcy passed to a male heir. The history of the Scottish clan Elliot is a fascinating one that has been marked by conflict, turmoil, and perseverance. The clan's rise to prominence in Scottish society is a testament to their strength and resilience, and their legacy continues to inspire and captivate people to this day.